you. But meanwhile, we want to go to Keith Ashmus. He is chairman of the National Small Business Association. And Bill Beach is with the Heritage Foundation, and he usually is able to explain things to us. First to you, Bill, because i got to ask yeah. whether or not you've examined the Senate bill as much as anybody can, because so much of it is behind closed doors in secret, to figure out how much small businesses will pay for it. Absolutely. I mean, I, and I'm so glad to hear what Larry and Patty had to say because it confirms the direction of our research. Uh, if the bill passes as the Senate has constructed it so far, and we have to live under this law, uh, we're looking, uh, David, at about 452,000 lost jobs by 2019. In that year alone, an average of 300,000 for each year between now and 2019. Lots of lost savings. The, the, the whole economy shrinks in size by $45 billion per year. And it's for exactly the reasons that Larry and Patty were talking about. Uncertainty, they don't know whether to invest or not. And if they don't invest now, they don't have an expansion three years from now. Increased costs because small business can't afford the additional uh, mandates that are mm -hmm. in the bill. And all of this uh, dead weight loss of additional spending in Medicaid as employees and small businesses are forced out of their company-sponsored plans and onto Medicaid, that's a dead weight loss in the whole economy. So high income people getting taxed a little bit more, they're going to adjust their behavior. Yeah, the but a real lot, harm. It's, it's, you know, the, they always say, yeah. well, it's just the rich people who are going to pay, but uh, Patty, you are an S corporation, meaning that, that basically all of the income that you have from your business is taxed on your individual tax return. So when they talk about taxing the rich, they're talking about taxing your business, right? Right. And you know what? You cannot make the, the poor richer by making the richer poor. It so just true. doesn't make sense. You, you cannot take the, the most productive citizens and take their resources away. It just doesn't make sense. And if they make this mandatory, what happened to free enterprise? Well, is, is Congress going to follow question. this? Because I want what Congress has. Yeah. And I, I wonder if they're going to make themselves part Talk of Talk about it. Cadillac plan. That's a real Cadillac yes. plan. Well, Keith, <laughs> I want to go to you first. Uh, yeah. Have you guys, uh, when you knock on the door of the White House, as I'm sure you try to, do they, do they ever open that door? Yes, we've had some discussions with people in the White House, and it's been productive. We managed to get some good things into this uh, like what, legislation. Like what, for example? Well, there's a new provision for uh, simple cafeteria plans that we haven't had before. But I have to tell you that there have been other things that we've asked for, such as uh, the same treatment of self-employed as other people get, and that hasn't made it in because of their uh, intent on making sure that this scores out properly. Well, Keith, the, the point is, last Friday we got a very discouraging jobs report. We were expecting a loss of 8,000 jobs. We had a loss of 10 times as much, 85,000 jobs. Uh, the president said he is full square behind fixing these unemployment figures, but this goes in exactly the opposite direction. Well, this creates some uncertainty, and uncertainty is a killer for people uh, creating new jobs. I think part of it is the potential for taxes, either on the Cadillac plans or on the surcharge, that, as you mentioned, is a, really a tax on the earnings that's kept in the business and is used to increase employment and increase investment in the business, particularly at a time when there's a shortage of available capital right now to expand. Bill, we, yeah. we would have a 10, we have 10 percent unemployment now. It would be 10.5 percent were it not for those people who were looking for work last month and then they just decided to pull themselves out because they were so discouraged. What do you think we would have in terms of an unemployment rate if this health care bill goes through and if folks like Larry and Patty have to fire workers? Well, you're looking at 11, 11 and a half percent if oh. it was in, in, the, in, the, in the books today. I mean, l just think about that for a second. The people who are least able to bear the burden of additional government, those people who are looking for work or just about to ready to lose their jobs are being asked here to bear that burden. It isn't the high-income people who can get out from underneath this tax. You know, Patty could probably do something else with her, her career, but she can't hire that kid okay. or that person who needs a job. Well, and it's also, Patty, it, it, these people are like your family. When you have a company of 20 people, uh, you know, firing somebody is, is, is like slapping one of your family members across the face. You never want to do that. Right. Well, so yeah, you, and, you and really what, what, may, what does fire. anybody think that that the government is going to is going to 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 use my resources better than I can for my employees? I mean, I don't yeah. think so. The government doesn't care about my employees the way I care about exactly. them. Exactly, exactly. Larry, go and, ahead. 
Well, you know, the, the thought I always have is that, that it, it's almost as though they want us uh, to think of them as mama. And, and, you know, when you're hurt as a child, who do you always look for? You look for your mother. I don't want that. Leave me alone. Let me be a right. capitalist. Let me make what I can. If I, my business blows up, it's my fault. Give me the opportunity, but don't put rules and regulations and, and, and keep taxing me to the point that I just can't breathe. Leave me alone. Let me do my thing. We, we don't want an anti-state, and we do want to maintain freedom of choice as best as is possible. Uh, Patty Bergulia, great to see you. Larry Levy, best nice of luck. Keith you. Ashmus, Thank you. Thank you. hope you get in the White House door more often. And Bill Beach from Heritage Foundation, great to see you all. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank